Thank you, Peter, the minister of you. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very honorable title. Uh, I'm very happy with that. But first uh, and foremost, I think I'd like to uh, extend uh, a very warm thank you to Dr. Kuhl and the other panel members who contributed to this very, very thorough and highly qualified report. You have been able not only to review the Danish Council for Independent Research, but also unveil some interesting perspectives, I think, on our entire Danish research community. It is very useful, and you have to once in a while, I think, receive such external reflections on the Council's performance, and I encourage everyone here, you probably all have, but otherwise, to seriously read uh, the report. After all, you, uh, you may be just be able to find a, a passage or two about yourself, just as I found something on myself and the ministry's role. Next, um, I would like to say congratulations to DFF and to the Danish research community. Overall, the evaluation is very positive. Uh, and yet a reminder of Danish research, great performance in general. I think that it is evident from the evaluation that DFSF is, is doing a really good job and is an important contributor to this uh, performance. And even though many feel that the success rate of applications to the Council are too low, there is almost unanimous support to the Council from its stakeholders. DFF plays a crucial role for the career of many young researchers for whom a grant from uh, DFF is seen as an important stamp of excellence. It impresses me to see a public institution with this kind of support from its stakeholders. However, of course, we shall not rest on our laurels and neither should DFF. We should all strive to uh, be prepared for the future, and luckily the evaluation provides uh, exactly some pointers for improvement. So let me mention just a few. One of the recommendations that concern us all is the issue of the low ratio of female researchers in Denmark, particularly at senior level positions. The report reminds us that we are not particularly excellent when it comes to supporting female scientists in pursuing a research career. From my point of view, this means that we are currently missing out on a huge potential. And we should make use of our entire talent pool, not only half of it. The panel applauds the Council's one-year initiative, the UDON program, where 17 top female researchers have just been given the opportunity to lead a research team. But, as it is rightly pointed out in the report, such a program cannot stand alone. And I certainly agree with the panel that we should all take this challenge very seriously. Another seemingly ever-present challenge for research funders around the world, and indeed also for, for the DFF, is the issue of cross-disciplinarity. I assume that we can all agree on the importance of applying a holistic approach in general in solving our society's challenges. And this includes DFF, who has taken steps to secure a better support of exactly cross-disciplinary research. But it's not an easy task to implement this sort of cross-disciplinary funding, uh, a funding scheme like that. And I know that, that this is something that the DFF is working on. I think that's really very good. Finally, uh, the evaluation panel also finds Danish researchers' mobility to be relatively low. And I, I kind of like the way the panel has, has chosen to formulate this issue uh, in general as an opportunity rather uh, than some sort of depressing challenge for the Danish research system. I agree, our researchers should uh, in, in greater, uh, to a greater extent, make use of the opportunities 
to go abroad and come back with new knowledge and, and insights on other ways to deal with societal and scientific challenges. Uh, and there's no doubt that research funders like DFF should strive to support them in, in doing so. But in conclusion, I'd like to say that from my perspective, the future for, uh, for research and innovation in Denmark looks quite bright, even if our no progress, of course, is achieved without a conscious effort. In 2012, a review of the Danish research uh, and innovation system was conducted by exactly an international panel. And this review contributed to the recent merger of three former councils into the new Innovation Fund Denmark. And last year, uh, Dr. Krull chaired an international evaluation of the Danish National Research uh, Foundation. And the evaluation formed the basis for the recent 3 billion Danish kroner injection of capital to the foundation, as well as a fine-tuning of the foundation's instruments and uh, strategic considerations. So with this new evaluation of DFF in hand, we're well equipped to further improve our research funding system. The evaluation shows us, I think, there is still room for improvement. There probably always uh, is room for improvement, but but also here. And overall, however, I also think it shows that uh, the two evaluations of, of DFF and the Danish National Research Foundation sent quite a clear message. Uh, we have a ve well-functioning uh, research funding system. So in other words, we're on the right path. And therefore, I do not see the need for another larger reform of the system in the near future. The evaluation and also its recommendations, of course, will, will now be the basis for, for political discussions between the parties behind the establishment of, uh, of Innovation Fund Denmark. That shall definitely be interesting, uh, but I do think uh, that the recommendation sent an important message to us all. Don't get too comfortable, never get too comfortable, but we should always try to think ahead, look for ways to improve our research funding system, and I think that this report is a valuable contribution in, in this regard. No doubt that I and, and my ministry in general will be reading your re recommendations more than once in the near future. So thank you very much uh, to the panel once again for a job very well done. I'm looking very much forward to the day today. Thank you.